What are these corneal dystrophies? They are congenital bilateral corneal opacities. Please mind these words. Congenital bilateral corneal opacities and they do not progress. Most of them do not progress and definitely they are not associated with any systemic disease. Okay, none of these are associated with any systemic disease. There are three main types. They are the epithelial, the stromal and endothelial depending on the location they can be either epithelial stromal or endothelial however for your exam purpose we will learn only about the stromal corneal dystrophies and these are only three types granular lattice and macular you can uh, understand by now that depending on their appearance they are classified as granular lattice or macular corneal dystrophies let's look at this busy slide over here the granular and lattice both are autosomal dominant. The only recessive type is the macular corneal dystrophy. Okay. Both granular and lattice are autosomal dominant. Macular is of recessive type. Look at these pictures. You can see from this. It is a breadcrumb like or like some granules present on the cornea. Okay. That is granular uh, dystrophy. You can see these lines all over here line like corneal opacities this is the lattice dystrophy and discrete macules all over the cornea over here these are the macular dystrophy okay now you can uh, 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 derive from the picture that the limbus that this region is clear all over here over here and here it is clear however in this you can see there's opacity of the limbus as well so the limbus is not clear you can understand then that the vision in granular and lattice is not much affected however macular is very much affected because there are clear spaces in both of these conditions you can see that there are clear spaces of cornea see okay all of these clear spaces allow for the person to have a better vision however there are no clear spaces that is the entire cornea is involved in the macular type including the limbus so the vision is not very good however the treatment for all of these three is by keratoplasty keratoplasty is the only line of management because the visual loss is maximum in macular dystrophy they require the maximum number of keratoplasties okay that is about uh, dystrophies as much as you need to know for the exams, granular, lattice and macular dystrophies.